We hear a lot about concussions. How do you decide if a player can return to the ice if you suspect he might have a concussion? When a player comes off the ice with a suspected concussion, there's a number of things we try to do to discern whether or not he really had one. For example, we'll look at the injury video to see how he was hit. The NHL has a list of requirements in order to evaluate a player for concussion based on the injury mechanism. We will put him through a computerized evaluation called the SCAT-5, which compares his current answers regarding memory, recall, and that sort of thing to how he did during the start of the season when there was no concussion. We will also do a physical examination to make sure there's not a neck injury, a facial injury, or any other injury that may have occurred given the forces that are in hockey. And if it's determined that the player has had a concussion, then he'll be kept out. As a team physician who's around the players frequently, it's often helpful to know what they are like personality-wise, because if a player has had a concussion, he may not have quite the same personality that he had prior to that. A player may be goofy, he may be fun-loving and joking, and if he's not acting that way, you suspect a concussion. Or as someone who's not around the players frequently, may not know that player's personality, may not know his little quirks, and therefore it makes diagnosing concussion that much more difficult. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want comedy, go to the entertainer. If you want more science of blues hockey, go to barnesjewish.org slash science of blues hockey.